Hello everyone, my name is Tomasz Szablewski. I am from Poznan University of Life Science in Poland. And I will try to give you some information about analogs, uh, about basics information, about the, um, production, about ingredients, technologies, um, equipment, what is necessary to produce this, uh, um, these things, and um, how to design the products or some maybe tips for the producers. Because of this, uh, we have to start uh, from the um, beginning in what the vegan diet is. Well, it seems quite easy, but uh, it's not. Because for, especially for trademark, for uh, we've got some trademark for industry, because this is one of the best things. Uh, means this is one of the um, this is our stakeholders, right? Uh, we have to give some tips for them, and also this is what uh, we um, what we're looking for. What we looking for some solutions to help how to help them. Um, to produce the best quality of that kind of products, safety products, and so on and so on. That's why we have to start about um, from the definition. The definition is uh, vegans is a plant-based diet that does, that does not include any food foods from animals. What does that mean? Means that that kind of food must not involve any or have involved any uh, the use any animal products right any animal product means also point two means if we use some gmes gmos products uh, plant products means also without any uh, animal genes because sometimes for uh, to have for I don't know when we use some uh, modifications, sometimes we use the animal genes to improve some uh, some uh, um, some things like color, like the other. That's why that kind of product should be free from animal any animal product from any animal genes, and also. Uh, prepared separately from non-vegan dishes. It's quite similar to allergens. Uh, later, I'll try to give you some explanation about this. So, we have to, uh, today we will try to um, discuss about how to optimize for functional properties and applications. How to build that kind of product, how to use these functionalities to build new products, maybe not um, some imitations of egg analogs, but how to use how to use that kind of functionalities to provide some functionalities because they are quite so quite unique, right? Eggs give uh, very unique functionalities. Why people or, or maybe what are the motivations for using alternatives? Of course, this is similar questions for why people use that kind of diet, right? Well, there are two ways, two different types of motivation. First, consumer-driven consideration because they are interested of that kind of diets. Well, there are many, many things that give the, these results, right? In general, plant-based foods are associated with positive health effects, sustainability, but also it's a fashion. Uh, whatever the reason, well, the, the, the reason is, the real reason is, um, people are looking at that kind of products. 
That's why industry should give them some opportunities, yeah, right? Because if they look something, okay, no problem from the industry, we can give you some new product maybe, right? That's why we are here. The second uh, consideration is for the allergies. And yes, this is quite important thing because some of uh, consumers, especially kids, uh, get some allergy and uh, especially for, for uh, raw um, uh, proteins, egg white. And yes, sometimes the allergic reactions are quite, uh, quite could be quite dangerous. So this is one of the reasons why people are looking for the um, egg um, analogs. Then food safety. Well, yes, um, some animal products, some of animal products are quite good source of some pathogenic bacteria and the contamination of the gram bacteria is quite bigger than in uh, plant products, right? But of course, plant products could have uh, different, could have, have could, uh, different, uh, uh, different hazards, uh, not like salmonella, not like uh, E. coli, but listeria, but bacillus, or some other bacteria. And nutritional and health, uh, yes, uh, if people got some problem, especially with um, cholesterol, and uh, they got hypercholesterolemia, um, the plant-based diet is quite good for them because as we know, um, we can't find any cholesterol with, in, uh, in uh, plant products uh, because it's typical, they've got different sterols, not cholesterol. Food manufacturing driven consideration, it's uh, handling and storage. Well, yes, it is a problem because uh, mm, when you can try to compare some products from the eggs, like pasteurized or liquid product, egg products, uh, with the, with uh, some um, plant products, um, the shelf life is it's quite different, right? It means money. It means money, right? So yes, this is one of the reasons that uh, why the egg alternative is now so popular. Then allergen segregation and cleaning. Well, one of the most important thing is cross contamination. How to avoid the problems with this? And yes, when we um, reduce the amount or avoid. We, can we avoid uh, that kind of allergen like eggs because of the, this is one of the uh, allergens from the in this list? Um, we avoid problems with, with this. So yes, this is one of the reasons. Then functionality. Well, we can successfully replace some um, re replace the egg functionalities using some uh, plant products, and it's okay. It's possible. Uh, we can do it and it's very nice, especially uh, because of price, um, uh, because of uh, shelf life, because of contamination, because of um, stability. Sometimes uh, the alternative for the eggs, some plant, plant, uh, plant alternative for the eggs are quite uh, better, could be quite better and cheaper. And the last, but I think it's one of the most important, is sustainability. Yes, we know that the, um, all thing about the environment and uh, gas emission, ammonia, carbon dioxide, it's quite lower than in plant-based production uh, or plant production than uh, in animal production. So this is one of the main reasons that why uh, the vegan production is still growing. Generally, we use eggs. Most of the production is used uh, in our homes and uh, a lot of restaurants um, serve, uh, serve that kind of products means serve breakfast with scrambled eggs, with boiled eggs or some other. Generally, a lot, a lot of eggs we eat. It 
course, it's different. Uh, uh, it depends from the eco consumption, depends from the culture, where are we from, it's different from nationalities, but generally, um, this is quite good product for breakfast because it's easy to to produce that well prepare them for breakfast and so on and so on uh, generally we use eggs in two different ways as a, as a product means scrambled fried boiled on some other uh, things in in different ways and in, in this in this context but in different context, context we use some um, as a mineral ingredient, right? Um, we use just some specific functionalities to build some product, right? Um, at the left hand, I've got uh, two pictures, right? First picture, and this is boiled eggs, right? And when we use some marinade, with um, bitter juice, we've got beautiful because they keep the color from the juice, right? Then second picture is eggs, uh, uh, smoked eggs, right? Because they absorb the flavors, different flavors are some from smoked. And yes, as ingredients for emulsions, for uh, farm production, yes, different functionalities and different type of of using right so yes they are quite unique and understanding the need within a given for product is important to understanding what is required in an egg alternative right did we try to produce um some imitation I mean egg analog I mean free egg egg analogs yeah uh, or we try to prepare some, we try to prepare or try to build some product using this functionalities what eggs can do. And yeah, what about the functionalities, what I said? First, functional properties, sensory properties, and nutritional properties. Three types of different things in one X, right? Um, what about nutritional properties? Yeah, the properties, of course, are different from, and they are, um, and the different uh, morphological, morphological part are responsible for different things. Yeah, when we try to compare white and yolk, of course, in white we can some, find some cholesterol and so on because this is not the place for it. Well, if from the eggs we have to get new life. Egg yolk, this is the reservoir for the nutritional contents, content uh, ingredient. Um, and in generally, it's a very rich product. And of course, the calories and so on, so on de depend from the functions of this uh, of this uh, uh, of this part. Applications, since eggs provide different functionalities to different products, the key to successful uh, egg replacement is to understand what functional properties the eggs are providing in a particular product. Yes, that's why we have to um, realize what kind of product we try to design, right? And for this, have to design the technology, and try to find the best ingredients to place the function, this functionalities, right? Well, yes, uh, as you see, uh, it's quite simple thing, how to replace some functionalities uh, from the X, yeah? Uh, using different uh, combinations on non-animal product. And yeah, it's uh, it's a tips for baking, right? <clears throat> tips for home usage. But uh, when you look at that, really, it could be useful also for industry, because the uh, many many solutions is quite easy, right? And quite similar to these tips. Well, different properties of the X are important for different applications. As we know, 
for bulkier products, we need eggs because of many, many things. From the left hand, when we see the withdrawal, right, uh, we need them, uh, we need the eggs for the, um, we put the eggs, uh, liquid eggs, right, to, um, to adhere the, to, uh, to some seeds, right, on the top. Uh, then for a cheesecake, we need uh, egg yolk for emulsifications, for also for coloring and also for good taste uh, and so on and so on. At the right, my right hand, uh, we see sponge cake and egg white, it's so, so important to produce the structure, right? to produce the foam and uh, for foam stability um, uh, and also for color, for for uh, flavor, right, and for taste. So um, it looks like the eggs are, can't be replaced, right? It's not true we can replace the eggs to build that kind of product too. Eggs are uh, responsible also for color, for flavor, some pasta and noodle products and one of the most important and one of the most uh, uh, used is uh, bread, uh, breaded foods especially when it's fried right um, we love some product that they look or they are nuggets or they look like nuggets right it, because of at hair the service to the other foods and so on and so on right so um uh, that kind of products are very popular we like this taste and we have to understand uh these functions to build new products how to replace these functions egg functions right nutrition parts yeah dried whole egg on dried whole uh, whites are sometimes used to provide protein uh, fortification of some uh, some product because it's quite good quality uh, proteins. And uh, mayonnaise, salad dressings, this is one of the typical use of usage of, the, um, of, um, of, um, of egg yolk, right? And also so for creamy soups, if they are responsible for uh, textures, very smoothy textures, like for, especially for cream soups. Um, Protein shakes, cheese. Well, in cheese, uh, lysozyme. We use lysozyme, what it, which is isolated from the eggs, uh, for stabilization, right? Uh, when we use, well, lysozyme is uh, one of the preservative uh, at the E list, right? Uh, and we use it uh, to um, as a natural agent anti uh, some negative bacteria like propionic bacteria, right? And of course, scrambles, omelet, and so on. So coagulations is uh, egg functionality responsible to create. Uh, uh, very unique texture and uh, of course uh, provide the color flavor and other uh, other properties so the plant based egg alternatives the options for plant based egg alternatives include some individual ingredients right just for uh, um, just for functional functional properties and we try, in the second way, we try to build some ad, um, alternative, right? So yeah, we've got two ways, build something new, well, use some egg functionalities or build some egg imitations. So from this reason, we for build some uh, new products, right? Egg alternative products, egg free products, vegan products. We use a lot of, a lot of ingredients that can, that can, um, that they can replace some functionalities or they can build the structure of egg products. First, soya. Yeah, this is a very uh, protein rich legume, yeah. And uh, we've got 
a lot of different ways to use it. Of course, as some uh, we can use some um, text rat soy, right? For I don't know, produce the, some scrambled eggs. And also uh, when we use some uh, some spices and so on, we can produce eggs like products, right? Then soy protein concentrate, soy protein isolate, we can use it, right, uh, for some processes to replace some egg functionalities, right? So replace some functionalities. Then wheat and wheat protein also, when you've got some texturized and the market offer us for us a lot of different uh, texturized um, wheat proteins, we can use it for um, for scrambled eggs or uh, egg, egg, as egg alternatives, right? Um, uh, for different different uh, structure, also in that kind of production. Of course, soy, lupin beans, and the other pea proteins, this is a very rich and good quality proteins products. What we can use for, uh, or we can use for replace, right? And to build the texture of the egg products and so on and so on. Also, we've got molds. Molds. Uh, when you prepare maybe um, tempeh, right? This is uh, boiled, fermented uh, soya um, products, right? We also use molds to prepare that kind of product. When we fry it, we can uh, prepare some egg analog products also. The other, uh, the other um, ingredients what can be used for can be useful for our production is of course almonds or other um, or other uh, nuts, right? Then agar agar, especially for the structure building. Some vegetable protein, starch, vegetable hydrocolloids, some flour or other oils. Uh, Guardam, Caragan, yes, to provide some um, processes, right, to, uh, to build the structure and so on and so on. And of course, at the end, other activities, including flavoring, coloring ingredients like uh, salt, spices, uh, textures, yeast. Uh, I don't know, beetroot, some juices, beta carotene, and the other, 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 other. There's, there's many, many things what we can use to build the taste, to build the flavor, and also build the texture and build the nutritional um, um, list, right? Yes. It's maybe it's not easy to build that kind of products to replace the last egg analogs and maybe to replace the um, uh, functionality of the, uh, the uh, of, of eggs, but it's possible and it depends from us and our imagination, right? And of course, uh, we have to try, try, try. Uh, uh, to find the best solution and maybe to find the best combination of this of this ingredients. As I said, this is uh, uh, it's not in, it's not easy to build that things. Um, and this is the plant-based egg alternative ingredients blend and standalone egg replaced available for a taste cell. Yeah, this is the list of the um, of the, the egg alternatives, right? 
And uh, here we've got the list of ingredients, right? And of course, we've got uh, vegan egg yolk that it got yeast, sodium magnet, black salts, beta carotene, yeah? And we see the properties now. Yeasts give a lot of proteins, yeast give a lot of um, flavor also, uh, black salt, beta carotene, uh, color, and we've, when you've got, when we add some water, now we've got liquid egg, right? Uh, maybe uh, the first vegan egg. Look at the ingredients, whole alcohol flour, whole alcohol protein, modified cellulose, to build the structure, yeah, cellulose, galangan, and so on and so on, carrageen, nutritionalist, uh, and black salt. Yeah, we've got um, structure, color, taste, just add some water mixed and um, fried, and this is it. It seems easy, but we know um, so many, many times we have to try um, how to how to build the ingredient list um, because it depends from the uh, well we have to define what we need right and then we have to look for the list and uh, take from the list of the ingredients what we have to use but if we we can know we know um, what uh, the ingredients are responsible for. Um, we can, uh, with success, build some uh, new product also. And generally, uh, from technical point of view, it's not very complicated to produce some egg alternative. In principle, the technologies used to do not differ significantly from those used in the conventional industry. The following technologies are commonly used, like cutters, right, uh, to produce vegetable masses. Yeah, it's, it's not very complicated because of most of the egg products. This is, it looks like a premix, it's a powder. So what we need is just some mixers. <laughs> Sometimes we use, uh, you are obligated to use some vacuum filter if we prepare some ingredients, of course. Cooking and heating, if we prepare some, really some liquid product or scramble eggs, ready to use scramble eggs, right? Extruders, if we produce the ingredients for our production, the other production, right? To build the structure and so on. Then physical mechanical, uh, like mixing, milling, forming, crushing, separation, and reaching, and the, the, the physical thermal process, like heating, frying, smoking, cooling, freezing, drying, you know, it always depends, uh, the techniques, it always depends from the, um, it's the, the, it depends from the product, what we are looking for right what we uh, try to produce and the best way to to prepare some egg alternative is just prepare the premix right when we use when we prepare some when we mix some ingredients right from the other companies um we prepare just premix or something like this and consumer can add the water and use it as typical products right the, of course, the, we use a lot of different uh, and quite specific processes like biological processes, chemical processes, right? To avoid some, because we know that some uh, plant ingredients can have some, uh, some hazards also. That's why we use some fermentations to avoid these problems. Um, I uh, like anti-nutritional ingredients, right? But uh, in generally, the typical processes, the typical equipment can be used to produce that kind of products. And uh, from my experience, um, many of uh, typical um, factories that they produce the meat products 
can use uh, or they use some part of the company for produce the, the kind of alternative, right? Non-animal products. So the typical equipment can be used, the typical technologies can be used as pasteurization, sterilization, uh, mixing, blending, uh, and so on and so on. So it's not very complicated. It's just our imagination and how it can look like, how the results can look like. Look, we've got on the market, we've got a lot of egg alternative in the places and the market is still growing, right? We've got different egg replacers. We've got different premixes, right, for baking. Uh, also, we've got uh, absolutely vegan, organic breakfast scramble. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just uh, our imagination, right? What we uh, want to find, we take a list from the ingredients, we try to find the best solution, how to build it. And then we compare it with, uh, try to compare it with uh, our equipment, or maybe try to design something new. And this is it. It's quite easy. Look, m well, this is not easy. Yeah, egg free mayonnaise. We have to use some commodification process. And this is it. Absolutely vegan, organic, cocoa mayo. Now, uh, I know. Egg free mayo, um, a rich egg free mayo with classic creamy flavor. Yeah, it's not very complicated to build the build that kind of uh, products. Look, seasonings, sauces, spices, tofu scramble spice mix. Yeah, this is the premix, right? Built from the tofu and build from the spices. And when we add that kind of flavor, everything, uh, 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 spices, everything will, will be, uh, will be taste like tofu scramble. <laughs> and also premixes for, as you see, for um, produce some cupcakes or something like this. For the end conclusions and opportunities for further research and development. This is one of the examples. And this examples give us the very important information that the market is still growing and everything depends on you and everything is possible because uh, it's um, it's a, it's a, it's not very complicated, of course, um, to find to to find some sources uh, um, of some ingredients in plant uh, world, right? But it's not easy to use it, right? But we know that uh, this is uh, this is uh, quite uh, new thing for us. Uh, because the vegan products is uh, it's a challenge also for industry, but uh, it's necessary, right? Because the that kind of market is still growing because of the amount of consumer of that kind of product is still growing, and this is one of the example how uh, we can change how we can replace some uh, animal products, animal ingredients in normal life, right? In general, as I said, we use lysosome, which is isolated from the egg white. But we can find lysosome also in cauliflower, cabbage, or papaya. So it's quite easy to um, uh, to isolate the this enzyme from the the this fruits, uh, from this plants, right, and then use it for. As natural preservative, yeah, and yeah, this is possible, and it's also possible. <laughs> uh, this is a vegan fried egg, and yeah, this is egg uh, analogs. This is egg imitation, <laughs> uh, and it's built from the uh, rice starch with different 
um, extra additives. And I don't know, is it look tasty? It look okay. Um, this is alternative. Um, but uh, yeah, the question is how it's gonna be in the future. But because now the market of the egg analogs look like um, that we've got egg analogs like scramble eggs, vegan scramble eggs or some other. And uh, we try to build some new products uh, for replace some functionalities. Yeah. So uh, today with our food look like this at my left hand. Um, maybe it's not uh, egg alternative, but okay. We can imagine that some alternative, yeah, for traditional animal product. But in my opinion, this is, uh, I don't know, maybe transmission phase. Maybe in future, it should look like this. I don't know, is it tasty, more tasty? But it's, uh, uh, it's uh, you know, um, we think that uh, the left hand uh, foot, um, it, this is look no, like it, this is normal, right? But I don't know what it's gonna be at the for ten or twenty or thirty years. Maybe at the right hand, that kind of food, it's that will be a uh, look like normal. And this is old fashioned food. <laughs> for now, it looked like maybe tasty, more tasty than this, but. In my opinion, when we try to build some vegan food, um, I'm not sure that when we try to produce the imitations of the egg product, it's okay because we try to build some new products. When we try to replace, when we try to produce egg analogs, it's like a fake, right? Um, it's a tricky. Um, it looked the same, but it's not animal product. Okay, this is good for now, maybe. But I think that for future consumers, it won't be enough. They probably um, think that uh, this is old fashioned food and this is their normal food. And, uh, and this is a sentence for the end. And uh, probably that kind of market will be still growing. Uh, and this is challenge for us as uh, scientists. And this is challenge for industry. And of also this is challenge for um, our consumers. So thank you for uh, your attention and, um, and have a nice day.